What's going on, YouTube? This is the Nomad Illustrator. pick up I want to draw you. I'm back from Mexico for my old vlog channel. This is my new channel now. I got a new phone. Uh, I'm going to show y'all today how I'm doing these portraits right here. I'm doing a drawing for my uh, T Public store. So on this channel, we're going to do a lot of drawing adventures, going different places, uh, and doing portraits of people on the street. And I'm going to do a lot of vlogs, sitting down in cafes and in my apartment, um, drawing, uh, drawing portraits uh, of people and designs for my tea public store. Sorry, I'm just a little bit just under the weather a little bit today. I'll be alright. It's been a while since I've been on YouTube, but stay tuned for a lot of drawing vlogs and a lot of vlogs doing portraits of people and interviewing them. We're going to have fun on this channel. We're going to have fun on this channel. But I'm going to show y'all how I do this tea public design here. Normally I work with watercolor. So we're going to give this a little bit of a style, a little bit. I love to draw like people's faces. It's, just, it's just always been a lot of fun to me. I draw animals too and other things, but I love to draw the people the most. Like I like looking at their different facial features, their color, their skin tones. It excites me to like want to, you know, I want to draw that person. Even when I'm on the train, it's like I see a different face like every day, and I want to draw. Planning on vlogging in Colombia in April, so stay tuned for those vlogs, guys. So far, what I've done, working on the face a little bit. This is gonna be a t shirt design for my tea public store. Probably looks like it's gonna make a good coffee mug. I'll link below my tea public store for you guys. And I'll get my pins. I use these pins right here. Uh, the pigment liner it's pretty good this one right here I get it from the Blick art supply store but I normally work with watercolor for my illustrations but I plan on learning just a little bit of digital art You'll probably see some of that on this channel too but I was vlogging on my old channel in Mexico, but I no longer have that phone. So I decided to start a new channel and I'm gonna showcase all my drawing adventures for you guys. If there's anything specific you wanna see drawn, let, drawn, let me know. So far this is what it looked like, working on the eyelashes. My grandmother's uh, on my dad's side. She used to tell me that all my my the faces when I would draw looked the same. So I'm trying to like diversify what the people look like when I'm drawing them. So it takes a lot of practice though to get really good at it. I'll show you how I draw dreads. You guys can see that so far. I'll show you guys a little bit after I um, finish a couple more of the designs. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, anything specific you want to see drawn, I can I can draw draw most things for you. Just just put it in the comments below. I love drawing the jazz music. And some other thing we're not gonna talk about here. ponytail a little bit with her dreads I make everybody dreads when I do dread I make them all look different so I started drawing when I was like five years old and I started with stick figures believe it or not I started with stick figures so if you can't draw like you can learn how, if you're really into it, you can learn how to draw. I think my sister, I think she came out of the womb knowing how to like draw realistically. But for me, I had to do a lot of practice. And I just wanted to showcase that to you guys here. But this is like the one thing I did like all through school, middle school, high school. I'm 28 years old now, so this is this is the one thing I was the kid in school that would like be drawing in the back of the uh, in the, in the class. Not, I, I didn't really sit in the back of the class, like in the middle. I had a habit to sit like in the middle, so I would always be drawing while the teacher would be talking, and they would ball up my my paper. So it's like it would be crazy, you know. But I used to make characters in school a lot, and always wanted to do animation when I was a kid. I never really pursued it, but illustration is like a it's like a cousin to animation for real. Especially, I have a real interest in the, uh, more 2D animation like Aladdin and SpongeBob and stuff like that. I don't really like 3D as much. It don't feel as personal to me, you know. It don't have like. The 3D to me doesn't have a personal touch, so. But it's something about something magical about the hand-drawn stuff that really resonates with me. I watched a lot of animation. Uh, I don't know if you guys, if you grew up watching As Told by Ginger on Nickelodeon, uh, SpongeBob. I grew up watching all that stuff. So I've always been into character building and storytelling, and especially through drawing. I can write, but I, I really love to draw. So that's like that's like my thing. So you're gonna get a lot of vlogs with me doing portraits on the street or at the cafe with people. Right now it's a little bit cold, so I don't know if I'm gonna do that. Stay tuned for the, the image of the watercolor drawing of this. This is what it looks like so far. I'm gonna put a little bit of watercolor into it. It's like a tree branch. And I probably put it in the thumbnail. If you like my artwork, you can check out my online shop below. The link's gonna be available. Check out a various amount of designs on different clothes and products. So you guys have a good day and don't forget, Peekaboo, I wanna draw you!